The Swane mayor is calling for assistance from crime intelligence to deal with the ongoing municipal strike in the city. Mayor Silias Brink briefed the media on the strike's devastating impact on service delivery this morning. Workers affiliated to the South African Municipal Workers Union have been striking for over a month, demanding a 5.4% salary increase. A waste collection truck was recently attacked and set alight. Well, the city says it can't afford the increase, but some insist that that's not the case. Our reporter, Ian C.S. Bulele Switi Jones, joins me now uh, to look back at Mayor Silias Brink's briefing this morning. And Bule, very warm good morning to your colleague. I mean, a lot came out of that briefing with Johan Mittler, the city manager as well, addressing the media. But, I mean, what were some of the highlights in terms of uh, the negative effects of the strike to service delivery? Well, at least according to Mayor Silias Brink. Definitely. Firstly, the mayor saying that the Samu unprotected strike has turned into a criminal assault essentially uh, saying that what we're witnessing now around the capital city are elements of criminal acts with uh, trucks being torched and municipal workers who are, are on duty being intimidated as well. Um, like you've just spoken recently about the truck that was torched uh, while about to go for duty. They're saying that matter is currently under investigation. They cannot link it yet to the union. However, they're saying that the strike, which is prolonged for over a month now, has had a serious knock-on effect on services in the capital capital city. He maintains that the metro does not have any money to meet the city, I mean to meet Samu and Imatu halfway in terms of paying out the outstanding salary increments. He says the city is underfunded by 3 billion rand, but also he's called for intervention from uh, intelligence as well and national uh, government to say that these uh, key you know, entities have to come in and try and resolve this issue as well of curbing uh, these uh, criminal acts that they continue to witness within the city. Uh, the mayor saying that it's a small group of agitators who claim to be who claim to be representing the disgruntled municipal workers as well. As we understand, about 122 workers have been dismissed, and around 319 salaries have been recalled as a result of this unprotected strike. But he's also saying they will be lodging a civil claim against Samu. In, the, in an attempt to try and hold them accountable for what has happened within the capital city as well. Let's listen to what the mayor had to say earlier on. Two waste removal trucks have been torched, and as expected, this has had the impact of bringing waste collection in this city effectively to a halt. The waste service providers are withholding their services despite our best efforts to do a backup plan for waste collection, the waste is again piling up. And this is clearly, this is clearly an intended bargaining chip. But some of the people perpetrating this violence have been careless. They have reckoned on sympathy from law enforcement officers They've reckoned that we don't have cameras at all of our facilities. But what they haven't reckoned with is that many people have got the means these days to capture what is happening in any given time. So, relating to the criminal attacks on the waste collection trucks, we have a major lead and unfortunately I cannot disclose all of the information that I currently know because I do not want to compromise the investigation but there is a lead and the city will do everything in our power in cooperation with law enforcement to act on this lead and to make sure we bring an end to this campaign of violence intimidation and criminality. What is more, after the strike is over, and it has to be over at some stage, it has to be over and we'll stand our ground, there is going to be a bill that needs to be paid for the damage suffered by the city, by residents and by ratepayers. And I've asked the city manager to now already start collating that bill for the purposes of a possible civil claim against Samu. 
Uh, so, Bula, when it comes to the 5.4% increase that's been demanded here by Samu workers, does the city have the money? Well, the city has made it quite clear that there really isn't any fine, you know, financial muscle to try and ensure that they pay the salary increments. In fact, as we speak, we understand there's a meeting before the bargaining council uh, between the city and, of course, SAMU representatives to try and pave a way forward. Uh, when we spoke to SAMU earlier in the week, they had said that they will actually uh, be coming with their own a financial expert who would then look into the city's books to prove that the city does not have money. But of course, the mayor has rebutted that argument saying that they are under three billion and they simply do not have any money to pay the salary increments. Um, and as far as how this strike has had a knock on effect on the capital city, we also have been told that the emergency services uh, within the city have been stretched uh, quite dismally as well. Um, but also that 34 criminal cases have been reported at the SAPS and are currently under investigation in relation to uh, the summer strike. Uh, we also now have gotten a, a stat as to about 45 private companies which are operating and of course uh, you know, protecting some of the key points within the city, uh, including reservoirs and other power stations as well, to ensure that there isn't any element at sabotage which could potentially damage um, these facilities as well. So um, it is quite serious. Um, it is quite serious in the sense that about uh, 319 municipal workers' salaries have been recalled who allegedly have been on a go slow in the capital city as well. So some of these issues are still under investigation, but the city is maintaining that it really does not have any money. They do have a funding model, though, which um, they've received from National Treasury. But if the funding model does work, this model, which would see a positive outcome in their finances, would only be implemented in the next coming financial year, which could potentially see the Metro uh, paying the salary increments to the unions as well, which is Samu and Imatu. Yeah, and just before I let you go, Bule, uh, does the mayor see an end in sight when it comes to the strike? As far as we understand, the city is saying that it is losing control of uh, the sun protected strike. However, they're not budging. They'll keep pushing back. Um, this is the reason why they've now actually saying, now say that they'll be requ requesting for um, intelligence, criminal intelligence unit to actually now intervene in terms of having even more extensive surveillance to um, curb the strike, which is now spilling over to um, key facilities and workers being intimidated on site as well. But uh, the mayor has said, of course, it is quite concerning that this um, strike has lasted this long and really it has had a knock-on effect on service delivery in the capital city, in the areas of Sashanguve, Olivenhood Bosch and, of course, Pretoria East. A waste collection remains a headache as well. Some clinics, of, of course, which are essential services, have now been closed as a result of uh, the strike as well. Uh, buses, which are used for tra public transporting of commuters, for the residents of Twane um, have been uh, told not to be operating. In fact, the uh, city manager said he, re he received a request to have the buses to uh, resume their operations, but he declined that request uh, in an attempt to try and, of course, ensure that workers who are willing to work are protected and they're not intimidated and that their lives are not at jeopardy as a result of this unprotected strike. We will be speaking to Samu later on in the day. Uh, we've tried to reach out to them uh, in the city of Twani. The regional uh, leaders here are not available, but we'll be speaking to the provincial secretary of the union later on at their headquarters just to get a sense of their reaction and what will be a way forward from their side. All right, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for this update. Uh, my colleague and ENCA reporter, Boo Lilithwiti Jones, on the city of Tswane. This is the back of that briefing by Mayor Silias Brink regarding the impact of the Samu strike on service delivery. Thank you so much, Boo for this update.